my best friend wants to tell my husband that I cheated on him six years ago. My husband, 32M, and I, 33F, have been married for four years, together for nine. Six years ago he got an offer for his dream job in another city and I thought he was going to leave me. Because he was acting suspiciously. I was heartbroken as I loved him so much. I went out drinking with my friend and a guy started flirting with me and I flirted back. It wasn't long before we started kissing ignoring my friend who told me to stop. A few days later I found out that my husband, boyfriend at the time, got a new job in our city and he wanted to surprise me. My friend told me that I should tell him but I refused and begged her not to tell him. Six years later my friend told me that she will tell my husband about it if I don't tell him. I asked her why does she want to do this after all these years and why does she want to ruin our marriage. She told me that when her boyfriend cheated on her. She realized that she would want someone to tell her if she was in his situation. I cried and got on my knees in front of her to change her mind but she gave me an ultimatum. I don't know what to do. If I tell him it would destroy him. He has been cheated on before and he wouldn't believe it was just kissing. He sacrificed too much to stay with me and that's how I repay him. He won't trust me again. I think he will divorce me. I have been faithful for six years and I deeply regret that incident. What should I do? How should I tell him? Update. My best friend wants to tell my husband that I cheated on him six years ago. Last night I told my husband everything. He sat there and didn't say anything other than okay. He was silent after that and then went to the bathroom. I heard him cry in there for about 10 minutes. In the 9 years we have been together I only saw him cry twice once when his mother died and the other when his sister died. I wanted him to be angry at me scream and shout at me but he didn't. He didn't say anything at all. An hour later he was packing his clothes to leave the house but I stopped him and told him I will leave. I'm now at my parent house thinking about what will happen next. I will leave him alone for a couple of days before I talk to him again. Edit, I told my parents and now they hate me. My mom is going to our house to check on him and bring him lunch. Update, my mom brought my husband with her and I think we are going to talk. This is the thing where women don't understand consequences, uh the repercussions of their actions and why I talk so much about accountability her friend was right that her her now husband deserves to know the truth he truth he deserved to know the truth years ago it I think what hurts the most is that you lied to him for years you negated this truth for him for years uh, you should have given him the right to choose what he wanted to do with his actions, what he wanted to do with his life, if he wanted to marry you or not, years before. I think that's the most hurtful thing where you you rob someone of their, basically their free will. Um, he went into this relationship with 100% trust in you. And now you shattered it. You basically... Um, made him you know live in a relationship of lies um that that's the thing where people don't understand that now how could he trust you with other things it, it's just you want to be as honest to your partner as possible i mean especially someone who has already trust issues it, it's not fair to that person and at the end of the day she was thinking about herself if her husband leaves her, although although after years it is it's a small reason now, but still it is a reason of trust and still cheating, right? So he has the right to do it and she has to accept it. Um she has to this is why I, I think right where I talk about women not understanding what you do in your present or your past will affect your future. Women, and again, why I say, okay, why people in the manosphere, uh, red pill, they talk about body count. They talk about um, the things you do during your youth, right? How women, let's do, let's say OnlyFans or rack up so many bodies. It's not just the surface level conversation of, you know, how many bodies, how many people have you slept with? Or, you know, if you've done OnlyFans, the things or the things you've done, right, in your past or in your present, it's just that you have to understand that 
there will always be consequences, good or bad, for any action you take. That's part of accountability. That's a part of accountability that, you know what? You're an adult. You chose these actions. You chose to, you know, slept with dozens of people. You chose to, in this case, cheat with somebody. Um, you chose to lie to someone. You chose to share your body on the internet, et cetera, et cetera. Women are deluded to think that there's no consequences for actions that they make. I think both men and women, you have to accept that you, as an adult, chose to do certain things. And what happens because you choose certain paths in life? Well, that's something that you have to live with. That's why you have to be more cautious and really think out. Does this um, does this action make sense? Will this action affect my future? Affect my life in any way? That's why it's it's so irresponsible. Let's again. Let's go back to if you slept with a lot of people, or if you let's say yeah, how it's the only fans thing is rampant right now. If you decided to share your body online, just like how you know the P stars re regret what they did before, well, you you really have no right to regret it because you chose that path, you chose that lifestyle. Even an idiot knows that if you choose that path, what 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 do you think the future is going to be? You know, amazing. Uh, you know, uh, like. It's just deluded. You, you're deluding yourself if you think your future will be, you know, amazing or, or you, you know, choosing that lifestyle won't affect your future whatsoever. I think that's stupid and deluded. <clears throat> just like women who, who've been with so many men thinking that, um, you know, ha I'm having fun in my 20s, you know, in my teens, in my 20s, in my 30s. It's not going to do nothing. It's not going to affect my future. It's not going to, you know, affect any good, decent man that wants to be with me in the future. No, I don't need to worry about that. Well, then that is your choice. You have the free will to do that. The problem is you don't have the free will to control how other people react to it. That's the issue. Uh, you, and other people have the free will to react to, you know, those situations how they want to he has the back to the story is that it's his right to be upset and he should think long and hard if this is the woman for him